Hello, Texas Math Mundo audience. Today we have a real treat today. Barriers are being broken. For the first time ever on this show, we have some females. We have the state champion, the co-champions, calculator, 6A division from North Shore High School, the mighty North Shore Mustangs. We have Cecilia Mai and we have Michelle Chan. Uh, that's gonna be a fascinating look and a fascinating perspective, finally, for some, some females on my show. Um, uh, that's coming right ahead. I wanna take a moment and remind you that if you like this content, please uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Please smash that like button and also uh, leave a comment below. My name is Saul Cantu and this is Texas Math Mundo. Texas Math Mundo audience, we're in store for a real treat today. Today, barriers are being broken. For the first time ever, I have some ladies on the show. I have the co-champions, 6A state calculator team, uh, Miss Cecilia Mai. Cecilia, raise your hand, please. Hi, everyone. And Michelle Chan. Welcome, ladies. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you being here. Thank you for having Thank you. us. All right, all right. Now, it should be noted that Cecilia, you were the 2019 Individual State Calculator Champion as well. Yes. And both of you were core members of state championship teams in 2019 and 2021. Yes. And you all are proud North Shore Senior High Mustangs. Yes. All right, all right. So, I first want to start off by defining your friendship. How long have you known each other? Um, since fourth grade, but we didn't become friends until sixth grade, I think. Yeah. Wow. So you all, you all have been very connected for all these years. You all are like really tight bosom buddies. I mean, good friends. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's great to hear. You know, and wasn't it poetic that you all would finish your senior year as co-champions? It really yeah. was. And like, it was, it was because like, um, we both missed one punch in each. So like, usually if you like miss a punch in usually that breaks like a tiebreaker but like we both got one exactly one wrong each so like that's how we both tied it was a true tie mm -hmm. a true tie. and it was like it was almost like not gonna be a tie because it was like until the last second that i fixed like the third punch in because like i was just going through questions again and i like went over my third punch in and it was like wrong she wasn't even like <clears throat> going in order she just like put her calculator at like a random number and it was <laughs> yeah and it was like number three and it was like like one second left and i just blah, 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 ah, then i just changed it wow wow well it's just destiny i guess it was poetic a poetic ending to a to to the, the four years in which you terrorized the 6a calculator <laughs> division terrorized y'all may look all sweet and kind but i know the terror <laughs> the terror you struck on on calculator competitors hearts <laughs> Wow. Michelle, Michelle said that one time, whenever we were competing in ninth grade, she heard like people like look at us and like we we're passing by and they're like, oh, those are like the ninth mares. <laughs> they said that? <laughs> they said yeah. that? See, it's not just me. I know you've been terrorizing the 6A uh, Black Layer <laughs> Division. I'm like, wow. Yeah, and they look so sweet, but they will terrorize that Black Layer Division, dominating. You know, that's great, ladies. That's great, ladies. I just. Congratulations on that strong showing at state. You know, congratulations. You. Uh, so, I want to talk about uh, what's up currently. Uh, so, let's talk about. Um, we recently concluded the state meet. Uh, what are your thoughts about the state meet? What are, What are your thoughts? It was different, like because we had to have like um, dividers and stuff, and then we we're all sitting like really far and stuff. 
Yeah, so you all actually um, were the 2019 state champions. And I, I imagine as freshmen in 2018, you were at the state meet. Um, so we got to, you got to be in a room with all that brain power, with all the top guys uh, and girls. And uh, what did you think about the pod situation? Um, well, I'm just like glad that we actually had a state competition. Yes, exactly, exactly. Um, uh, last year was so tragic. I'm going to ask you about last year in a second. Um, how did the North Shore Calculator Applications team uh, and you two individual, the team and you all two individually, prepare, you know, in light of the pandemic? Um, well, we still continue to practice. Um, usually we just, like, go to the coach, Mr. Kirby's room, to, like, practice. But because of the pandemic, um, he kind of just uploaded the tests online, and so we would do them. Or, like, he would drop off the tests at our houses, and then um, we can do the tests. And then for TMCA, they did virtual tests for the state meet and, like, some, like, local meets as well online. So he just uploaded them on, like, Cami, and then we just did them to practice, like, doing them virtually. And after we were done with TMCA, we, like, focused on the paper tests. Okay, okay, wow. So you all uh, kept active, kept busy, kept practicing. Mm -hmm. And um, you do mention Don Kirby. I've known Mr. Kirby for a long time. He is a legend. Uh, tell me how instrumental he was in your preparation, how instrumental he was in your journey. Well, um, we've both been going to him since we were young. Like, I've been going to him since, like, fifth grade. She's been going with him since sixth grade. So, like, we've been going after school every single day and, like, during breaks and stuff, too, to, like, practice. And so he, like, literally, like, built our math foundation. And then from there, he, like, taught us calculus, physics, and, like, other stuff that's going to be on the calculator test and then outside of it as well. And so we like to thank him for all of our, like, success in math academics. Oh, wow. Wow. So that's been a journey this, these years with uh, Mr. Kirby. Uh, wow, you almost feel so incredibly close to him, and he's guided you through all these years. And look, state champions. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. That's incredible. So how was the team chemistry? Do you want to do a shout out to your other fellow teammates? Oh, um, my, we have like two other members on the team, my little sister, Cassie, and then our friend of ours, Gustavo Cardoso. And they worked um, just as hard as us throughout the whole year as well. So there's another one of you. Cassie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. I thought the terror was over. Well, what grade is she in? Right now, she's in 11th grade. So she's going to be a senior next year. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> I thought the terror was over. But apparently, it'll continue for at least another year. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> so I was going to ask both of y'all. Uh, aside, uh, you know, uh, schoolwork and UIL academics, uh, what other interests and hobbies do you ladies have? Um, we Well, she's taking art this year, actually, and I took it last year. Um, but I think we can both say it's the most it'll be is like just a hobby because, I don't know, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of work, but it can be relaxing if you don't have like deadlines, real pressure on you. And then... That's like art? Cake. Art? Yeah. Yeah, like oh, what kind of medium? Um, um, color pencils. Really, really? Do you happen to have a sample readily available to show the audience? <laughs> mm, not in the room, no. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I was putting you on the spot. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> hey, you never know, man. You never know. Maybe they'll blow up one day. Maybe you'll... Uh... That's interesting. Interesting. So, art. Yeah, and then I'm also in band, and she's into cooking. Really? Okay, I'm going to ask you, what instrument do you play? Um, I play the clarinet and piano. Really? Okay, wow, wow. And uh, Michelle, I was going to ask you, uh, what do you like to cook? Um, usually I just like um, help out with like Asian dishes at my house and also like baking. Like we baked a cake for her birthday so in like um, the past few months. Really? Really? Wow. What kind of cake? Just like fro uh, vanilla cake. We did like the basics. So we did vanilla cake and then we also made our own buttercream. Okay, cool, cool. So you all are really good friends. You all are really good friends. That's awesome. That's really awesome. Um, so I'm just kind of curious, uh, you know, you all were uh, 
been so great these last uh, four years in calculator applications and such a dominant force. Um, so I was going to ask, I was kind of curious about what molded you to, like how, how you got to be here. So uh, I wanted to ask, where are you, where are you ladies from, you know, uh, born and raised? Um, I was born and raised, or we're both born and raised in Houston, Texas. Oh, okay. So you all, uh, you said you know each other since sixth grade? Uh, yeah. So you went to the same middle school? Mm-hmm. Is that North Shore Middle School or? Um, we have a Cobb sixth grade campus because our school is really big. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, and so I was going to ask, uh, so what, what is your background? Like your parents, where did your parents come from? Oh, um, I'm Vietnamese. Okay. And then I'm Chinese. Yes. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, when did you young ladies uh, first realize that you were gifted in mathematics? Um, I don't know if like I'm like personally gifted. I think it's like I dedicated a lot of time to it, so I'm like bound to be good at it. <sighs> so I don't know if it's like gifted, but I would say I put in a lot of practice to get to where I am right now. Yeah, I think it was like just having a good coach like Mr. Kirby, like someone that taught well and like encouraged us to like learn outside of what is taught in the classroom, like just like the basic classroom, you know, to like go above learning from your current math level. Okay, so I got a question. What was that score this year? What was your winning score at the state meet? 315, right? I think so. 315? Yeah. Let me say, you get into the 300s, that's rarefied air, ladies. That's rarefied air that very few people ever get to breathe. You all are gifted. Understand, you know, to get past the 300, it's gifted, man. You know, because uh, that air, I don't even know what the air it feels like up there. You know what I'm saying? It's so, <laughs> so uh, incredibly good. So I wouldn't undersell yourselves. I think, uh, yes, of course, hard work is part of the equation. You know, hard work and dedication, but uh, certainly, certainly, uh, there's got to be some giftedness there, in my opinion. So, awesome job. 315, wow. You know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I remember in, like, when we were in 10th grade, like, it was, like, 2019 state meet. Like, I think, um, so, like, the people that get medals are, like, top six. And, like, I'm pretty sure, like, I think all of the people were, like, over 300s. Oh, yeah. So, like, this year we were, like, hmm, maybe... Dr. Burrell is going to, like, kick it up a notch. <laughs> he did. We thought we did so bad on the test. Like, he, he made the test, like, super hard. Like, um, you know how there are, like, stated problems and stuff and, yeah. like, there are words? So, like, one of the jokes that we have going on is, like, Mr. Curry would ask, hey, like, should I call Dr. Burrell and ask him to take off some of those words, you know? <laughs> and then this test was so wordy, and it took, like, a while to, like, process it and stuff. And then he also added, like, um, like, geometry that's like typically harder or like harder than what he typically does and so we both thought we did pretty bad (laughs) like and especially especially because like um when i was going over the test and i just randomly like put number three and then like i changed the answer i was like man like if number three is wrong then like the rest of the test has been going too hot wow wow i felt pretty bad but it turned out that y'all did okay though it turned out y'all did pretty well though (laughs) Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I can understand how nervous racking is. You know, it's a it's a short 30-minute time frame, you know? You know, uh, you miss a punch in here, you miss a punch in there. It can really drastically result, uh, you know, change the outcome. So, um, wow, wow. Excellent. Yeah, and those, uh, I, a lot of my students just skip the word problems. <laughs> if, if it's too wordy, if it's more than a paragraph, they're just going on. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, believe me. Um so was sixth grade uh, your introduction to competitive mathematics? Um, we had like a, a district thing. No, we had we yeah. had like a mini thing, like the fast on facts kind of thing. With like it, it was just like basic number sense where we just like added or subtracted, multiplied or divide, did numbers, and like we just like had a paper, and like they would time us, and then whoever got like the furthest and like most correct would win. Oh, really? Okay, and were you all, like, what grade is this? This is just, like, third, fourth, fifth grade. Okay, okay. And then did you say uh, Don Kirby found you all in fifth grade or sixth grade? Um, Well, he coached my two older sisters, so I already knew him, uh, like, of him through them. 
So I went to him like during summer fourth grade. Oh, okay, okay. So yes, wow, wow, excellent. Um, yeah, and then for me, um, I met him in sixth grade because that's when I went to Cobb, and they had like a math and science club, and so I heard like the teachers were, like would recommend me to like go to Mr. Kirby if like you like really wanted to go the extra mile to learn more, and so that's where that's like when we started going together, and then. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. And then, uh, and then, was it a very competitive environment? Uh, were the boys upset that they were being destroyed by you, uh, girls? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Really? No. I feel like they just like gotten used to it. Like, oh, they're gonna win, <laughs> and they'd be like, oh, like good luck. You you got this. Oh, really? See, that's a sign that you destroyed them so bad that they just conceded. <laughs> they're just like, all right, whatever. They just conceded. All right, y'all well, gonna win. That's <laughs> like that whenever. Uh, during practices, we would help them with problems. Oh, really? To add insult to injury, you would tutor them even. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. That's great. That's great. But, uh, wow, that's awesome. I think that's very awesome. Uh, awesome. What a, what a wonderful example. What a wonderful example. Um, so, you two, uh, uh, I'm so happy you're on this show because, you know, it's the first time I have females, thank God. And, uh, you all are going to be an inspiration, not to just female, you'll be an inspiration to everybody who watches this show. So I just don't want to say that young boys aren't going to watch you and they'll be inspired too. But, you know, of course, especially the young ladies will be inspired by your example. Um, so my question is, who inspired you ladies? Who are your inspirations? Um, for me, like, I think Mr. Kirby is like a genius, like, so like I just like work hard to like get closer to like his level because I feel like his level is just really like up there. He's like a renaissance man. Like he knows like he used to He's so talented. He used to be like a <clears throat> swimmer in high school. Like he plays a guitar. Plays a drum. Really? Mm-hmm. He used and to be in a band. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so like He's, he's lived through it all. Like he's like multi talented. And then he works out too. Like we've seen him do a pull up on a door. Like, you know, like how like small that like yeah. door frame is. We've seen him do a pull up on that. Really? So these are dimensions. Yeah. I've known Cur uh, Mr. Kirby for a long time. These are dimensions of him I have never known about. You know what I'm saying? He's just known as the calculator God in our circles. You know? Wow. And in fact, I'll share it with you. My very first tournament, my very first tournament, he was there. He was there. I remember because, uh, because I was aggravating him because I was scoring out loud. And he's like, are you going to be scoring out loud the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> and we became such good friends. We became such good friends. That's, that's awesome. So Mr. Kirby has been an inspiration to you, to you uh, Cecilia. Mm -hmm. All right. How about you, Michelle? I think I would say the same. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Excellent. Um, excellent. I do want to talk about your high school years and UIL during your high school years. Um, what have been the most memorable? What has been the most memorable moment or moments in your uh, high school UIL journey up to this point? Mm. Cecilia, um, for me, it's probably would have been like whenever we went to state in I think tenth grade, and we were playing no ninth grade, and we were playing like the hockey table. <laughs> And like I kept beating both of them. I think I think that would have been like a core, like core a good memory. memory. Yeah. Wow! Wow! Because it's the 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 uh, you know unfiltered interactions just between you and your teammates and the coach. Yeah, mm -hmm. that that probably was very special. How about you, Michelle? Um. Yeah. Like it would. It was like um on like a normal year we would go to the UT Student Center. That's like where they had the. What's it called? Air hockey tables. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And like they also had like bowling. And so basically when Mr. Kirby goes to grade, we would, the team would go there to like just hang out and like chill and wait for him. And so like, I remember like when he came back, he had, he has such a good poker face. <laughs> like it's so neutral. You don't even know <laughs> if it's good or bad. And this year too, like he don't, he told us the results through Zoom. And so, like, he didn't say anything. He just said, like, we both won individuals, but he didn't say anything about the team. And so, like, he didn't seem, like, so upbeat. So we thought, like, did we lose a team? <laughs> uh, oh. He's very even keel. 
He's very even kill. It's hard to read it. Yeah, he'd be a good poker a poker player. It's but hard I to do, read. Him. I do know he was like internally like really happy because like he did he was rooting for Michelle and I to win. He just didn't know like he didn't pick you know one. He's like the coach that like wants both of his students to succeed and like we both succeeded. And I thought that was like such a great like way to end it. Yes, yeah, so poetic the way it ended. Are you all too uh, naturally competitive with each other? Uh, I don't really think so. No, y'all kind of like. We kind of just do our own thing. We just them. help each other. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. It's cool. just like all for the team effort. <laughs> for the team. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm sure you've made uh, Mr. Kirby, your parents, uh, your teachers very, very proud. Very, very proud. Um, so tragically, uh, we missed out on the competitive season last year, 2020. I know y'all were 2019 team state champions. You were uh, 2021 team state champions. A little interpolation. And tell me, what would have happened during 2020 if we had had a uh, competitive season? Well, Mr. Kirby was confident that we would have swept the floors. <laughs> But um, I would say we would have, like, I'm, I would have been comfortable with saying we would have placed top three for teams. And then both of us would have placed top six. Okay, okay. We did, you like, know. the 2020 set tests, like, throughout the year. And, like, we did good. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I'm going to make a prediction. I think y'all would have won state in 2020. You know what I'm saying? Not top three, top one. That's what I think. <laughs> <laughs> so here goes a question. Uh, which calculators do you prefer? Um, I didn't use... Okay, so like in high school, I used HP 33, but in middle school, I used HP 35. And so like Mr. Kirby's like, oh, when you get to high school, we're going to upgrade to the, um, <clears throat> to the 33 because... One of his like prior students said that the 33 was faster than the 35. So then like it was an easy switch. So I think I prefer the 33 over the 35 just because like the angle of the keys go like a V yeah. shape, like compared to like the straight lines of the 35. And like, I think my fingers like just work better with the V shape. Okay. Okay. So uh, you're allowed two calculators. So it's the 33S. And I'm familiar with that calculator. I'm very familiar with it. It's a good calculator. And uh, did y'all have another calculator on the on the desk, or it was just a 33? Yeah, the Inspire. Oh, the Inspire. Okay, <clears throat> cool, cool, cool. Wow, wow. Is that the same for you, Michelle? Yeah, I use the same ones as her. Okay, cool, cool. And the rest of our team uses the same ones too. So I, you know, um, the vastness of the state of Texas. You know, and you all are number one. That's so incredible. How does it feel to be a state champion? How does it feel? Um, it just feels like another day. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Excellence is standard in your world. So state champion or not state champion, it's what you expect. <laughs> well, we put in the work. So, like, I would have hoped to have gotten, like, first. That's I'm, key. Like, you put in the ever. work. You put in the work. The sacrifice. Was there a lot of work? Was there a lot of sacrifice? There was a lot of work. Like um, in middle school, I remember because you know how like the middle school campus is separate from the high school campus? Yeah. So Mr. Kirby teaches at the high school campus and their day ends earlier than the middle school campus, like an hour earlier or something. And so whenever we would go after school to practice, we would stay like legit from, I like we would stay until like 6.30 or 7, like at night. And like Mr. Kirby would like stay and like teach us the whole time. And then he'd like go home afterwards. Wow, it was really that enjoyable. is true. Go ahead, like, Michelle. Like it was like practicing. Like it was always enjoyable, and like it was never like seen as like a like a, a chore. chore. Or, like, yeah, it, it was like never like a chore. It was like just something that, like oh, I'm going to practice right now. I love that you said that. I love that you said that because even in my own coaching career, I view practice in the math team as me forcing myself to have fun. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a chore. For me, it's not a chore. That's like the fun part of my day. So did you all have something like a similar experience where that, that's just like you all forcing yourself to have fun? No, it was fun. I really enjoyed like after school practices. Great, 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 great. Yes, I, you know, I'm glad you said that because uh, it's the journey and you got to embrace the journey and I think you got to enjoy it. And so 
That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Uh, and you know, you all got to stand on the mountaintop. It's even better when you get to stand on the mountaintop there as, as number one. So where will you ladies keep your gold medals? Where do you plan to keep them? Um, I plan to give one of my like first place ones to Mr. Kirby and then keep one home. Wow. That's awesome. How about you, Michelle? Um, I'm not sure. Currently, we don't have the state medals yet because I think they're on their way. And then Mr. Kirby's going to get them engraved with like our names. So like it'll be more personalized. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. Wow, wow. And you all should probably frame it, man. Those are special. Those are special. You know, and I'm sure uh, I'm sure your parents would want to display them in a prominent place, you know. So, what does the future hold for you two young ladies? Um, like college-wise? Or yeah, yeah. Where are you going to college? Uh, what do you plan to study? Uh, Okay, so uh, I'm going to MIT, and then I'm going to study electrical engineering and computer science. Oh, that's the goal for now. So. Really? Wow. Wow. You know what? Uh, um, yeah. I'm going to UT and major in computer science. Wow, wow. <laughs> so these are some uh, top-tier universities, ladies. Top-tier universities. Wow. You know, uh, Michelle, uh, my last two interviews... Our, our uh, seniors that are graduating, they're going to MIT. Uh, oh. My last one was uh, Andrew Kai from Clements. He's headed to MIT. And the one before him was Max Ramirez from uh, Sherilyn Pioneer, uh, who's, uh, who's also headed to MIT. You know, I should share uh, your email with them if, if you want. You know, say the more connections, the better. Uh, do you know anybody at MIT right now? Uh, I think I'm in a group chat with Max right now. And then I think... I saw Andrew's post on Facebook or something. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Great, man. You know, I'm so excited for both of you all. This is a very exciting time in your life. You're going to, I guess, close out one chapter and go on to a new adventure, a new environment. Um, are, are you all excited about this? Are you all, like, what, what, what kind of emotions are you going through, you know, closing out your North Shore chapter and opening a new, a brand new chapter? Um, right now, I'm feeling really, like, zen for, like, the closing of um, high school. Like, just really, like, chill. And then I feel like I'll get excited for college, like, maybe mid-summer. Like, when I get to, like, go to freshman orientation and, like, get ready for college. Yes, yes, yes. How about you, Michelle? It's not really hitting me yet. I think, yeah, like, I'm, like, the same as Harry. Like, I'm very chill right now. I think it'll hit soon, in the coming months. <laughs> yeah, it's an exciting time in your life. You're about to expand your social circle. You're about to meet a whole bunch of new people. Uh, uh, you know, uh, it's it just, uh, I think, a very exciting time in your life, man. You know, so I'm so excited for you. I'm really excited for you, young ladies. It's, it's, I'm sure you're all going to make your parents proud. I'm sure you're all going to work hard, continue to work hard. Um, but I do have this question. Do you think you'll ever find yourself, uh, do you ever think you'll come back to UIL, uh, you know, maybe as a mentor? Do you think you're going to stay connected to North Shore at all? Uh, where do you think your paths might lead? I know there's a lot of uncertainty at this point in your lives, but do you envision yourself coming back and revisiting UIL and staying connected to North Shore? Um, I'm thinking of um, volunteering, like, during the summer and going to, like, Mr. Kirby to help him out with his, like, summer practices during the summer. Oh, so, so Don Kirby plans to still continue strong? Um, he, I think he's giving it one more year. Oh, really? Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I was just kind of curious, but I know I heard rumors of him retiring and stuff, stuff like that. So, so he's going to continue. Think he's, he's retiring physics, but he's trying to continue math club. Oh, okay, okay. So he, he'll continue with the, with the math club, which is so enjoyable. So yeah, exactly. Hopefully he never retires. <laughs> just continue teaching new generations. Okay, cool. So you plan to help him out this summer? Oh, oh, sorry. I didn't hear my name. I know. So uh, uh, I was going to say, Cassie, you plan to help him out this summer? Her name's Michelle. Okay, well, Michelle, uh, what are your plans? <laughs> um, In the summer, I have like a... I'm doing like the MIT interface thing, so um, maybe, possibly. I'm also doing another 
program thing that might take up my time. But like, if I ever have like free time, I think I would really like to go there and help like the middle schoolers out and like school it out. Yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. Um, so I got a couple of questions here. Um, looking back at these four years, um, what do you value the most about your UIL journey? The like process, like the practices that we've done, like because I really value like my mouth, my math foundation. Yes, yeah, so and it's bound to play a role in your future. I think y'all are headed out uh, with a very solid foundation for success. How about you, Michelle? Um, I think just the connections that I made with Mr. Kirby and like the team members, especially Cecilia, <laughs> <laughs> and like um, like getting that time to like bond with people that much because of like all the practices that you see every day. And like going to competitions, Saturdays, and state meets, and stuff like that. Absolutely. It's really nice to have people that you can share interests with. Absolutely, 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 absolutely. So now, here's perhaps the most important question I have for you. This is a very important question here. Um, so you know how um, uh, Don Kirby has inspired you all, stuff like this. But I think you're going to be very inspirational for so many people who come across this interview. What advice do you have for that young student in junior high who might come across this interview? What advice do you have? Uh, uh, you know, it can be for all students. If you want to address young ladies in particular, feel free to address them. But what advice do you have for any uh, young uh, student who might come across this interview? Um, I would advise them to find the opportunity to like learn math because math is actually like really fun once you get to know it like everyone who knows how to do it like say that math is fun once you know what to do and so i would like hope that encourage you guys to like try and find resources or like mentors that will like teach you math and go through that journey great great advice great advice how about you michelle um i would say don't be afraid if you suck at math the first time, because that's what that's what happened to me when I first started going to Mr. Kirby in sixth grade. And so, like, he would give us like worksheets of like um, algebra and like geometry, like the thirty sixty nine triangles, and it's like a very foreign concept to me. So it took me it took me a while. But I feel like the learning curve there's a learning curve to it. So like once you get past that hurdle, it's it's just smooth. <laughs> it's smooth and fun. All right. So they should uh, so they should persevere, not worry about uh, failing at first and just persevere. All right. That's awesome. That's awesome. I think that's some great advice. Um, so Cecilia Mai, Michelle Chan, you know, you've terrorized the 6A calculator division long enough. Time to go to college. <laughs> but I, I'm really in awe of your abilities. I'm really in awe of you. I applaud uh, your work ethic. I applaud your accomplishments. I'm in awe of what you ladies have accomplished. It's just so awesome. Um, I, I'm going to ask, do you have any parting words or any final thoughts as we conclude this interview? Um, I just want to say thank you for having us. And I think that's good. <laughs> thank you for having us. Thank you to Mr. Kirby for coaching us. And being the reason why we're here today and uh, yes. wow wow i'm so happy you uh, mentioned don kirby and i you know uh what a special man what a special connection that you've had and uh that's such a beautiful beautiful thing uh you know a, a beautiful relationship a beautiful uh, uh, progress and journey that you've had with him you know that's so awesome that's really very awesome so I want to thank you, ladies. You broke some barriers on my show. Finally, I get a female perspective, and I'm so, so happy. And the show is just going to be better for it, for having your perspective. And uh, who knows? You know, I'm thinking maybe in the future I might do some live streaming or I might do some things. And, you know, I might call upon you if you're open, if you have time, maybe to provide a female perspective. It's so necessary. So I'm so happy you're here. Um, I want to wish you all the best of luck. Uh, don't be a stranger, um, I, uh, and uh, and good luck in the future. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having us. Ladies, farewell. Bye. Bye-bye.
Cecilia Mai, Michelle Chan, what delightful young ladies. What a great perspective to have on this show. Congratulations, young ladies. I wish you the best. And uh, you've represented your, your, your families and your school proudly. Um, let me remind my audience here that if you like this sort of content, please go ahead and take a moment to subscribe to my channel. Uh, also, uh, hit the like button and uh, leave a comment below. Um, uh, there's plenty more to come. I have plenty more in store for this channel. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Saul Cantu, and this is Texas Math Mundo. Farewell. Texas Math Mundo audience, we're in for a real treat today. Today we're breaking barriers. For the first time on my show, I have two ladies, females on my show. I have Cecilia Mai. Raise your hand, Cecilia Mai. Can you raise? Hi guys. Great. And I have Michelle Chan, the state, <laughs> the state co-champions in Calculator Six A this year. Welcome, ladies. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Can we do that? <laughs> All right, no problem. I stop. All right. Texas Math Mundo audience, we have a real treat in store for us today. Today, barriers are being broken. For the first time ever, I have females on my show. I have the co champions, State Calculator 6A, Miss Cecilia Mai. Can you raise your hand, Cecilia? <laughs> 